uh, then invite our market master, yes, Krishna Kumar, CIO of Equity, Sundra Mutual Fund, now joins us. Uh, Krishna, good morning. Uh, you know, you have, of course, uh, been uh, known as someone who's created a lot of wealth in mid caps. How are you looking at this phase uh, of uh, underperformance of mid caps and small caps in particular over the last three to six months? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> clearly, you know, the uh, the euphoric uh, wave that swept up all the small caps and uh, some of the smaller mid caps uh, to kind of all-time highs and uh, significant uh, va overvaluations is giving way uh, as you hit, uh, you know, some of the weaker macros and uh, uh, some amount of liquidity uh, drying from uh, overseas. Uh, so clearly, in the last, uh, you know, six months, uh, we have seen a, a clear divergence, you know, the large cap outperforming uh, small caps by about more than 20 percent to 25 percent uh, uh, across a different uh, comparison comparative uh, bun bunch of stocks but clearly you know the valuation uh, premium that the small caps enjoyed over the nifty etc has shrunk and it's basically the BSE small cap index on a one year forward is now at a discount to the nifty or the sensex so clearly to a large extent, I think this uh, uh, excessive uh, valuations have drained out. Uh, and if you look at, uh, you know, the small and mid caps have a good uh, earnings trajectory going ahead. The micros, the corporate fundamentals uh, have been improving. So I think from here on, you would find that uh, the uh, the financials, the growth, the earnings growth in these companies would be uh, the ones to watch out for and which will be supportive of the returns that the small cap segment would deliver. So we remain quite constructive here at this point in time. I think uh, a lot of money is made when there is uh, uh, fear and I think clearly in the small cap space uh, now uh, that's very true okay yes uh, as they say buy when the street is fearful um, uh, Krishna hi good morning and thanks for joining us you know you've really made a lot of created a lot of wealth for investors in several of your funds whether it is with names uh, you know like Hitachi Homes Arvind uh, XI Mahindra CIE etc these have been huge wealth creators in the past but um, going ahead would you continue to stick with some of these themes like auto ancillary cement etc or do you think that new leadership will merge now even within the mid cap and small cap space so i think uh, you know um I wouldn't think that there is going to be a, a leadership that's going to emerge uh, it, in terms of uh, some sector at this point in time. Uh, given the kind of growth that is more uh, diversified uh, across uh, various sectors, given that the economy is doing well on uh, on all fronts, uh, I would uh, rather you know uh, stick with a lot more diversified kind of a portfolio approach. Uh, you know, though you will definitely find that uh, uh, you know consumption is definitely an overarching theme across various portfolios that we run, which will span across auto auto components, uh, you know, uh, lifestyle products retail apparels brands and uh, entertainment and uh, holidaying so you know that's a pretty broad uh, subject that we think we will play with and retail credit also fits into that overall you know uh, uh, optimistic uh, area that we play in so I think uh, uh, it's, it's it's largely a diversified portfolio approach uh, because uh, even the infra sectors have been coming back you know cement or uh, you know if you look at the APC construction companies they've been doing very well one of the best order books that you have seen uh, with them the book to build ratio is quite healthy so overall I think it's going to be more uh, a diversified approach uh, you may say that probably the industrials and capital goods uh, will probably come back into limelight over the next 12 months because uh, that's a sector which is not done well but uh, we believe that uh, there are initial green shoots that are there in terms of uh, orders uh, coming into as, as the private sector starts to investing in for growth at this point in time Okay, uh, Krishna, morning. How are you looking at tier 2 IT specifically for your mid cap fund? I mean, the big boys have had this absolute dream innings, uh, even the mid cap companies actually. What would the call be as we look at the next 12 months? I think, uh, you know, IT relatively has uh, played out 
well, you know, given the kind of support they had from uh, strong free cash flows and valuations. I think uh, that was probably the entry uh, argument. And then with the improved uh, uh, growth outlook and uh, weakening rupee, I, I think a lot of the trade has played out. Uh, henceforth, I think, you know, uh, we would look at IT as more, uh, you know, uh, a neutral to the market uh, in the mid cap space than uh, being a big, uh, you know, driver of alpha in the next 12 months. So we would be very selective there. Okay, by the way, the consumption story continues. So today also we have Dabur, Colgate uh, making new highs. Uh, uh, not just this, Krishna, the, you know, uh, the jubilance of the world has been making new highs. Uh, Bajaj Finance has been making new highs. Uh, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that the quality stocks uh, are getting more and more expensive. So as, a, as an investor, as a fund manager, uh, what should one do in a market like this where there's a select, you know, set of 20 or 30 stocks making new highs and making a bit of a mockery of near-term valuations? Yeah, uh, I think uh, like we discussed uh, last time around, uh, you know, whether be it uh, uh, mid caps or small caps or larger companies, uh, clearly, you know, during uh, these kind of times when there is uncertainty uh, from uh, macros and from global liquidity uh, that we are uh, seeing, uh, I think th there would be a move towards being a lot more defensive and, uh, you know, uh, defen getting defensive across sectors would mean uh, probably, you know, even in an industrial com industrial sector or infra i think going to you know companies with better balance sheets better promoters and uh, and companies which have some kind of competitive edge in the markets so i think that's where i think the markets are moving to uh, i think you know there is a premium for uh, you know uh, uh, having low beta in this market conditions when volatility is uh, really increased in the last six months so i think that's the trade and uh, if you look at uh, the portfolio that you mentioned uh, you know in terms of names that you talked about about um, many of our portfolios are hinged on uh, you know uh, portfolio companies which have uh, strong balance sheets good promoters some kind of a strong business moat which keeps these companies uh, fairly insulated during tough times and uh, enable these companies to still uh, outgrow the market and maintain profitability so I think that's why if you do look at uh, some of funds like a mid cap fund the fund has outperformed the benchmark by about more than three percent in the current calendar year uh, that is reflective of the quality of the portfolio and I think that's how I think the next one year would shape up uh, when there are pressures uh, on different fronts that we see. Okay, in fact, one of the stocks in your mid-cap fund is uh, Heidelberg Cement. So what we've done is we've invited the management uh, to speak to us about all the issues that you just discussed, how, you know, cement prices are shaping up, demand isn't picking up on the ground, etc.